I was sitting home in my apartment on a Saturday night during this uh, cold spell. When I, when I got restless, decided to go out. Um, even though there were extreme cold warnings, I wanted to go out and see if any of my friends were out down at the uh, local nightclub, the Van Dyke. So I bundled myself up and uh, went out the door. It was extremely cold and very quiet. There was an eerie stillness in the air. I was the only one on the street as I walked down towards the nightclub. My footsteps were the only sound. I arrived at the nightclub in a few minutes and there were barely any people there. So it was kind of disappointing. I, I was hoping to find some of my friends there that night. There were a few people at the left end of the uh, long mahogany bar and um, there were also a few people in the dining area by the fireplace. I sat down at the middle of the bar and uh, the bartender, Carrie Ann, came up to me and uh, first thing she said is, what are you doing out here tonight? If I didn't have to work, I'd be, I'd be at home under the covers. Um, I told her I got bored. I was restless, looking for something to do, hoping some of my friends were out, um, but apparently none of them were. So I ordered a pint of porter and, and sat around waiting to see if any of my friends would show up. And while I was waiting to see if any of my friends would show up, the strangest thing happened. I felt this soft, feminine hand caress my hair and run down the side of my head. My first thoughts were, which one of my beer buddies is caressing my hair? So I spun around there was nobody there. The nearest people were 15 to 20 feet away. Now I'm slightly embarrassed because of the sudden movement turning around and, and, and looking to see who was there. So I just kind of try to act cool and go back to drinking my beer and basically forget about the whole incident. A few months later, I was talking to one of the uh, employees at the Van Dyke, and I, I found out that the, the building is considered to be haunted. The, uh, the story goes that the building at different times in its history has been used as a brothel um, and also as a funeral home. And the legend is that there were two women that worked in the brothel that had either committed suicide or, or been involved in an accident on the stairs in the case of one of them. I now feel that, that one of these women um, was the one that reached out and, and, and touched my hair that night. Maybe the same bitter cold and eerie silence that had led me to seek companionship in a bar had, had led a ghost to, uh, to uh, seek comfort by reaching out and touching the living. <laughs> 